Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Golhoff and I've been promising you this uh, next video on the Tetrads, the four blood moons, solar uh, moon eclipses. I've done one already, a video on the Shemitah. You can find it on YouTube if you uh, search the Shemitah September 15, 2015 blood moons. I make my videos real short. I don't go into a lot of, I just give the facts. So here we are on this blood moons that are happening in the year 2014-2015. Uh, what it is, it's a tetrad. It's four blood moons in the same year. There's only been four in the last 500 years, and I'll get to that right away. Um, 1492, in the year 1493, during the Spanish Inquisition was uh, of, of the blood moons, four, a tetrad. Uh, Christopher Columbus who some think, say he was a Jew, I don't know. But he escaped Spain and he helped find a safe place for the Jewish people during this, this uh, four blood moon time span. 1947, 1948, we all know was near the end, at the end of the Second World War, and Israel became a nation in one day. That was uh, another uh, tetrad for blood moons in one year. 1967, 1968, if you're familiar with the Six-Day War, Israel won it phenomenally. Uh, it's still in the annals of, uh, of uh, war journals about how they won it, or how they shouldn't have won it, but they won it. And they also uh, uh, had created more land out of that war, and uh, after the war, Jerusalem became the capital of Israel. Here we are, 2014-2015. The fourth blood moon in the last 500 years. Okay. Um, every one, April 15th, October 8th, April 4th, and September 28th, Passover. You can't make this stuff up. It's on the NASA website. April 15th was Passover. October 8th was Sukkot. That's the Feast of Tabernacles. And that was 2014. Because they go by lunar calendar and solar. Uh... The days vary to the next year, but you could see that April 4th of this year, Passover, was a blood moon. And that's, that's 10, 11 days behind the one in 2014. And then September 28th, another 10 days behind October, was Sukkot, another Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's exciting. Um, also, there was a partial, there's going to be a partial eclipse. This September 13th, which is the last day of the Shemitah, the 29th uh, day of Elul. And then it jumps into, right away, um, uh, Jubilee year, which is a whole nother video. I'm going to get to a couple more videos. So there you have it, some facts right there. I'd also like to say this, March 20th of this year, 2015, there was a, a total solar eclipse, not a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, and that day was the exact center of the Shemitah year. The exact center. It was also a, um, a supermoon. It was called a supermoon. And it was a spring equinox. I mean, dates. God's calendar. God's timetable. Call it whatever you want. I'm just giving the facts here. Uh, I believe we're coming into a big time of transition. A big uh, awakening. A uh, Something big's going to happen uh, to the world or to with Israel, uh, North America. Um, this September 13th, there's also going to be a partial solar eclipse. This September 13th, coming up. That's not on here. September 23rd, the White House is uh, speaking with many people, the Pope included. September 25th, the Pope speaks to the UN talking about a one world government or a, a coming together let's say of all nations sounds good I'm just giving you facts again um, my next video will be good too I'm gonna put these ones close together on the YouTube and my my uh, my Facebook page and whatnot for you the believer I'm gonna leave you with a few uh, scriptures you could tape them or read them or stop them Joel 2.31 Acts 2.20 Revelation 6.12 now these are about when the moon turns red and the signs of the times 
Uh, also read Genesis 1.14. And uh, I'm trying to make these videos short and sweet and uh, get all the facts I can instead of run it for two hours or an hour and try to make it simple to understand. Um, I believe something, uh, there's going to be an awakening, a shakening, the stock market could be no more, the American dollar could, will collapse like it's never has before, uh, more rioting, pestilences, um, just exciting times for the believer though, because that day is coming soon. That's another thing, you know, uh, uh, Billy Graham's wife said, you know, we'd have to apologize, God would have to apologize to us if the rapture didn't happen, like, Sodom and Gomorrah, he took the believers out. Noah's ark, Noah built the ark, and the righteous people were saved from that, from the flood. Uh, God says we, uh, we're not to God's wrath, and there's God's wrath that's talked in uh, Revelation, which is coming upon this world, I believe, soon. And I believe that the true believer, the believer in Jesus Christ, will be saved from that. You've probably all seen the rapture movie and heard of the term the rapture, and I'm sure there's a lot of disbelievers out there. There's comments below. Go ahead, put them in there. Like the video or dislike it. Those are the facts. My name is Garrett Gauhoff, and I hope you have a great day. Wait for my next video.